I'm just going to get it out of the way. Claude Opus 4.5 is the greatest AI model I've ever used. It is absolutely revolutionary for coding while also being significantly faster and cheaper. What Anthropic released today, I think is the biggest leap in AI we've seen in maybe years. In this video, I'll cover why I feel this way, tell you everything you need to know about this model and how it works, show you all the tests I ran, and give you some ideas for things you can build today even if you've never coded a day in your life. This might sound like a whole lot of hype, but I'm about to back up everything I just said. If you watch this video until the end, you will be a master of Claude Opus 4.5 and be able to build the apps of your dreams. Let's get into it. So real quick, getting into everything that changed with Claude Opus 4.5. We will speed through this, number one when it comes to coding. And this is not a lie. A lot of these benchmarks these AI companies put out are totally crap. They totally make things up. They over fit their models for the benchmarks. This is true. Opus 4.5 is significantly better than any other AI model I've ever used when it comes to coding, and it is not remotely close. It's incredible for agenda coding, coding in the terminal, for using different tools while it's coding, for novel problem solving, for solving big bugs and issues. It is the best, and it is not even really questionable that it's the best. There's some things it's not best at, and shout out Anthropic for showing the benchmarks that it did not win at. Things like graduate level reasoning, visual reasoning, multilingual Q&A. Those are things that Gemini 3 Pro, I feel like is their sweet spot. Anthropic sweet spots more on the building and coding side. But for that building and coding, it is the creme de la creme, unquestionably. In fact, it is so good at coding, it beat all the other engineering candidates that applied for Anthropic. They gave the coding exam, they give engineering candidates to Claude Opus 4.5. It beat every single engineering candidate that applied for Anthropic, every single one. And I'll tell you this, the coding tests they give to people applying to these big AI research labs, they're probably the hardest tests you're ever gonna get. Opus 4.5 beat all of them, higher than any human candidate ever. I don't wanna call Claude Opus 4.5 AGI, I think we're still a bit off from that, but I will go as far to say that this might be coding AGI. AGI is when AI is just as good if not better than humans in every way. I think this is just as good, if not better than humans when it comes to coding. I am going to say it's coding AGI and I'm gonna show you why in a second. Here's maybe the most underrated update of them all though, on top of all that, your conversations no longer hit walls. Usually when you're talking to an AI and you're having longer conversations, eventually you hit a wall and you have to like start a new chat because the context window was filled up. They figured out a new way inside of Claude where you're no longer hitting walls and your conversations can basically be infinite length. They found a new way to progressively compact as you go. That is massive. Now you can have massive, huge conversations in Claude, in Claude code that don't degrade over time. That is revolutionary and is going to make using AI so much better. On top of that, they released Claude Code Desktop, and this is so sick too. Inside the Claude Desktop app, which is out on Mac and Windows, you now have this new button right here, which switches you to the coding section, where you now can use Claude Code right on your desktop. It does it both locally and on the web. So you have your web agents that you can spin up on the side, as well as working locally on your computer. I've been testing this app all day and it is excellent. It is the new way I'm gonna use Claude Code. I'm not gonna use Visual Studio Code anymore. I'm not gonna be using Cursor with the CLI in it or just the CLI by itself. I think this is the best version of Claude Code yet. It's basically a wrapper for the CLI where it's taking everything going on in your CLI and giving it a nice visual interface, right? So it's not adding a ton on top of it. It's just taking everything you have in your CLI and making it nice to read, easy to use, good formatting, everything like that. And what makes it so good now is I now have it side by side with all my other Claude code sessions. So instead of having to have 20 different Visual Studio code windows open at all the time that slows my MacBook down to a crawl, I now can have all my sessions side by side inside Claude code for desktop. If I wanna spin up AI agents on the cloud, I can do that. Or if I wanna work locally, I can do that. 
that. That is so, so nice. And on top of that, it is right next to my chats. So I can go in, have chats with Claude, just kind of as an AI chatbot, my co-pilot CEO, and quickly switch over to Claude code with one click and spin up agents to get work done for me. Amazing. But let's talk about the coding performance, the reason why we're here today. How good is it at coding? Well, as I said earlier, this is revolutionary. Claude Opus 4.5 is significantly better. And when I say better, I'm comparing it to Sonnet 4.5, which I think was the previous king of coding, but as well as Gemini 3 and 5.1 Codex. It is significantly cheaper. That's in comparison to the previous Opus. So the previous Opus was actually three times more expensive. 4.1 was three times more expensive than 4.5. In fact, it is now the same cost inside Claude Code as Sonnet. You have the same limits inside Claude Code with Opus 4.5 as you do Sonnet 4.5. In fact, Opus 4.5 is now the default inside Claude Code. This is the first time ever Anthropic's done that. They push Opus 4.5 on you to use instead of Sonnet. That is mind blowing. And then on top of that, it's significantly faster. Check this out. One of the first tests I do with every new coding model is have it build a 3D complex first person shooter. I gave it my prompt to build it. It built a to-do list out, which is standard. Every model does this. What it did is, First, I was very impressed. It pulled in the right skills to use with, with the prompt right away, which honestly, before this, Claude was like 20% hit rate on pulling in the correct skills. Now it's at 100%. And then it went in, wrote all the code, and then checked off every to-do list, right? Instead of going down the to-do list one by one, it just one-shot the entire to-do list. It did this at a speed that was significantly faster than Sonnet and definitely way faster than the last Opus. Opus was slow as F, 4.1. It was unbelievably slow. This is not only faster than Opus, it is just as fast, if not faster than Sonnet. It completed the entire to-do list. Now, usually when you're working with an AI model, you have better, cheaper, faster. It's pick two of three. Every other AI model in the past is pick two or three. You can have it where it's better and cheaper, but it's not going to be faster. You can have faster and better, but it's not going to be cheap. This is the first model where it codes better, cheaper, and faster. This app I'm about to show you was completely one shot. This is the exact conversation I had right here. And here is the code it produced by me saying, build a 3D first person shooter with enemies and power-ups. I have ran this test with every AI model that's came out and none of them have come remotely close to what you're about to see here. So you come in, it immediately has different waves. You have these spectacular visuals with stars and planets around you. There's audio. I think you can hear the audio through the recording of the enemies coming at you, really nice particle effects, and they have different, if you can see on the right, you're gaining XP for every single thing you kill, and you even get combos. So if I kill things fast enough, you can see the combos on the right. This is all with just a really simple prompt that said build a stylistic first person shooter with enemies and guns and power-ups. This is by far, the look, you can see the waves and the scores coming in. This is by far the best test I've ever ran with an AI, spectacular. I had to build an entire 3D city fly-through simulator. So we have this entire city it generated in one single file of this 3D fly-through where you can see all the buildings, you can see the different lighting, you can see different windows lit up, you can see different details like the antennas on top of the building. I've ran this with every single model. None of them have come close to this. Some of them have crashed my computer, they were so bad. This is Excellent. This is so much better than any other model has ever done. And that was all with one shot as well. It is writing more code faster and with higher quality that works on the first try. It hasn't introduced any bugs in any of the tests I've done so far. It just all works in one shot which is amazing. As for chatting with Opus 4.5, it is very strong as well. It's very different. It's different than what I was expecting. So just for comparison's sake, I was planning this app with 5.1 thinking, which was my previous favorite when it came to creative planning. And it gives you a lot. It's very good ideas, but you know, you get a lot of fluff where you get a lot of wind up on the explanation. And then it gave me a bunch of ideas for the apps. Every idea came with a whole bunch of bullet points and it gave me like 
17 different ideas with a ton of bullet points and then even more kind of fluff afterwards explaining it. It's good fluff. I like the fluff, but there's just a lot. This is a very long explanation. I'm just saying, hey, can you help me plan out this app? With Claude Opus 4.5, it's a little different where there's basically zero fluff, basically a sentence wind up before the explanation. Then it gives me a few ideas. Every idea basically just has a one sentence explanation behind it. And then the ending is just another one sentence. So there's no formatting, there's no bullet points, it's just here's your ideas and an explanation behind each. While GPT 5.1 thinking gave me a tremendous amount of bullet points and formatting, from a speed perspective, this was also significantly faster than 5.1 and definitely much faster than Opus 4.1. Now the question becomes, you know, what is your preference when you ask a question and want an explanation? Do you want a ton of formatting and detail? If you do, I'm probably still sticking with 5.1 thinking, but if you just want quick, concise answers that get straight to the point, Opus 4.5 looks like it's going to be the way to go for this. I'm going to be honest, me personally, I think I actually do like the detail. I think I like super deep dives when I ask questions. So I might be sticking with 5.1, but I still might be using Opus 4.5 more, to be honest with you, because this user interface of switching between coding and chatting is so nice and well done and simple, where I can go in, give a prompt to an AI, then come out and do a chat, then go back and forth. I might be switching to four or five. So here's your workflow. Here's what I would do right now to build amazing things with Opus four or five. I would make sure you update your desktop app. I would come into the chat session, start a new chat, go to Opus four or five. I would make a list of all your interests. Just brain dump all your interests. Say, hey, can you help me come up with four to five ideas for apps I can build that are part of my interests? Take one of those ideas that Opus gives you because it is a really good creative planner. Switch to the code mode right here. Spin up a new agent to do that work. Build it out and then go back and forth between the chat and the agent. Say, hey, I just started building this out with the agent. What would you add? Then you take those ideas, go to the coder, put those new ideas in. Go back to your chat, say, okay, this is where we are. This is our progress. What are some marketing ideas? What are some other things we can build out? Then go back to the coder. Make the chat your co-pilot CEO that plans the app out and then make this code button your senior developer that will build the app out for you. I think this is the first time I can comfortably say an AI agent is a senior developer, not a junior developer, not an intern, but actually a senior level developer. That's how impressed I am with Opus 4 or 5. That's the workflow I'd use right now. There are certain times in technology where things just get kicked up a notch, where we see progress we haven't seen before, and you need to jump in early in order to take advantage of that progress. I think now is one of those times where the people who get in early on this massive progress are going to have a leg up on other people. Opus 4.5 is only available on the max plans for Claude Code, so you need to be paying the $100 a month, but I think it is honestly worth much more than that, to be quite honest with you. But I think the $100 a month is a Good place to start for testing this out. See if it's for you. And if you're curious, here are my new use cases when it comes to AI models, coding, Opus 4 or 5 easily, straight up answers to questions. I like Gemini 3, current events Gemini 3, creative writing. I'm going to stick with 5.1 thinking because it's a little bit more verbose, but business planning because it's concise. I like Opus 4 or 5. Google for video and image generation, and it is not remotely close. Feel free to pause if you want, but Opus 4.5 is mind blowing. Have you been using it? Let me know down below what your use cases have been. Leave a like if you learned anything at all. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. All I do is create amazing videos on AI. I am releasing the Vibe Coding Academy this Friday, so make sure to sign up for the wait list down below. Man, these are exciting times to be alive. I will see you in the next video.